Outlaw Sports is brought to you by Molson Canadian, made from Canada, and Rocky Mountain Barbecue, Alberta barbecue cuisine at its best. Last year when we were doing Henry Burris TV, and uh, we'd bring out the Stampeders uh, to come down and do interviews, and the guy that I was most impressed with is Keon Raymond. Mm -hmm. Not only how great of a guy he was and how down to earth he seems, but the way this guy plays. I mean, even when you look at that Saskatchewan uh, playoff game, what do you have a, a blocked <laughs> miss? A blocked, yeah, a blocked sack, convert, yeah. An interception and a knockdown. Yeah. You know, he, he's every, is he not the best player overall on that Stampeder defense? Well, it's some days it's between him and Charleston Hughes, but yeah, there's a, there's a case to be made for him as the their most valuable player on on that side of the ball, because whenever they have a problem in a certain area, he goes in and fills in the problem. And it's, it's sort of a, he's so good that he's never been able to stay at one position for very long. And when you, when you have like a guy like that, he just makes everything so much easier because they had a big need at Sam Linebacker late in the year because Chris Randall got hurt. He goes in and suddenly he's getting 100 yard touchdowns uh, on interceptions. That's, that's just what happens with him. He was sacked, he had two sacks in that game against Hamilton and a 100 yard interception. In this playoff game, he was everywhere again, and it, he's got a, such a speed and uh, sense about him that he was able to block that convert. When how many times have you seen a block convert? Well, it almost that happened from, more than once. Though. Right <laughs> from the outside, though. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Baron Miles used to yeah. jump the center and yes. block the convert down the middle. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot harder to do it from the outside. Sure. And the fact that he gets there and, and gets that play is just an amazing athletic ability. And he's right. He is a stand-up guy. He's a great guy. He's got four kids. They moved their family to Calgary because they wanted to be part of this organization and part of the community. And you couldn't ask for a better sort of leader on that team. He was the President's Ring nominee or winner last year, and I wouldn't be surprised if he wins it again. Yeah, just down to earth guy. I really liked him. Um, in playing in that Ryder game, it looked like he had some kind of a lower leg injury, too. And yeah. So uh, they taped him up again, throw some duct tape on, and get back out there, kid, yeah, because yeah. With, <laughs> you have to really admire the effort that he put in. Well, and they had some players go down before that, Eric Fraser being one of them, yep. and you thought, okay, they can handle those, those injuries. When Keon went down, I was like, Wow, yep. if, if he goes out, then it's trouble because that means, you know, Chris Randall's gonna come back in at his spot, but then you got really no depth anywhere else to make changes and, and get some fresh guys on the field. And, and Keon ran it out and taped it back up and went out there and uh, that's the player he is. He's, he's very tough, uh, he's very focused and committed and that's the, the type of guy that guys rally around. You know who he reminds me of? And not physically, but just kind of how valuable he is, is going back a few years uh, and we had a, a guy playing for the Stampeders named Daryl Hall, bigger, and uh, played some di different. You know, played linebacker, yeah. played the corner. I mean, uh, some of the matchups between him and Ray Elgard in years gone by were legendary. But the same kind of value because you can put him anywhere. You yeah. can play him anywhere, whether it's linebacker or play him anywhere in the backfield. Played some safety too. Well, and the way that. Uh it took Keon Raymond a long time to find his niche with the Stamps because when he came in, they put him at safety because he's sort of a do-everything guy, so he's yeah. at safety. But then they had uh, injuries at cornerback, and they, he went to cornerback, and then he played halfback some, and then he moved up to the coverage linebacker spot, and then he was back he, at corner, and then back to halfback, and then it's like, well, just give the guy a starting job somewhere, right? Yeah. It took them a year to figure out he has to be on the field because yep. he's one of our best players. In the Grey Cup, and he's one of the few guys that were still left from the Grey Cup team in 2008, but he didn't play in that game because he was backing up Brandon Browner. Yeah. Browner went out and played through a stretch fracture in his ankle, and Keon Raymond was waiting in the wings for that game. I think he would have done fine. I, I'm pretty sure yeah. they would have been okay. <laughs>